Hey guys, what's up? I hope you all are doing great. I just finished reacting to Vokoda vs Zero GBB Online Finals. It's a really sick battle, and you should you guys should watch it. Now that I'm done with GBB Online battles, as promised, I'll be dropping some tutorials. So for for the first tutorial on this channel, I'll be teaching you guys the Roham sub bass whistle, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Yo, I forgot to mention the clips you just saw. I'll leave links down below to their original videos just in case you want to watch them. And I'll also drop links to other videos that I think uh, use this sound or something similar. Also, big shout out to Rohem for giving me permission to upload this tutorial because I believe he's the first one to come up with this sound or at least made it popular. There are other beatboxers who do this same sound. It's just they have a different texture to it and Rohem's texture is quite unique. The reason I call this Roham sub bass whistle because the texture that I have is quite similar to Roham's as you can see in the clips that I've shown you. I'm sorry for this one, let's continue with the tutorial. Now this sound is not really hard, actually it's very very easy to get. The concept is very very easy, it's just um, mastering it or getting the hang of it will take some time so you have to spam it a lot. Now for this sound you need to know how to do the sub bass slip roll. And you need to do it with good control. And the sub bass slip roll is. <laughs> Just like how Ballsy does it. And not the. Now, if you know how to do the sub bass slip roll already and you have good control on it, you're on the right track. Now, if you don't know how to do the sub bass slip roll, close this video and go learn it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll leave links down below to other tutorials that I think might help you with this sound. Now, if you do know how to do the sub bass slip roll, let's continue. So normally, when you do the sub bass slip roll, notice the positioning of your tongue. Normally, the tongue is resting down below, right? So, my tongue is resting down below. Now, with the sub bass whistle, you're doing the same thing except your tongue is levitating a bit. Let me show you the difference. So when I when I do the normal sub bass lip roll, so my tongue position is like this. And when I do the sub bass whistle, the my tongue position is like this. And that's pretty much it guys. That's that's very easy. You just have to levitate the tongue. Now for me, that's how I learn the sub bass whistle. Now, what I need you to do is if that doesn't work for you, try different tongue position. Try going uh, a click roll position or different, you know, just play around with the position of your tongue while doing the sub bass, that exact uh, tone, and you'll probably get the whistle. Now, in the beginning, you won't get the whistle right away. You might notice some high pitch uh, sub bass. Now, if you do notice that one, you're in the right track, just keep focusing on that position and you'll eventually get the whistle out of it. And you might have questions like, is your tongue touching the insides of your lips? And the answer is no. It's like it's like a normal sub bass lip roll with a different tongue position. And my tongue position is I levitate it a bit, and that's pretty much it. I will leave links down below to other tutorials on this sound. I believe there's only one so far, and this being the second one. The first one is from Parv, he's a sick beatboxer, you should check him out. I'll also leave links down below for the sub bass slip roll just in case you don't know how to do the sub bass slip roll. But I highly recommend you mastering that sound first before going to this sound. So that's it guys for the tutorial, I tried it. I tried my best to make it as simple and short as possible. I'll do the same with future tutorials, I'll try to get to the point uh, as much as possible. And stay tuned for other tutorials, I have a lot in mind to teach you guys, like double voice, uh, recorder whistle. Uh, how to work on your case snare and many more so that's it for the tutorial guys i hope i really hope this um, will help you get the sound i already asked permission from roham and he gave me the permission you know, to teach you guys this sound now you can counter me and roham in battles so leave a like so i'll see you guys in the next tutorial